Hello and welcome back to the Chronicles of Aguna, the Arsenal podcast, brought to you by the last man standing with loserpool.com. Just a quick uh, reaction video to the news that Mikel Arteta has been appointed as the new head coach of Arsenal. He'll join on a three and a half year deal. It's news we all expected. It was a case of when rather than if, but the announcement has finally been made. Mikel Arteta uh, is in the door. Now, of course, Pep Guardiola spoke earlier in the day, um, around about an hour before the announcement came out, and he said that he believed it was almost done, that Arteta was in London, that he wasn't at training with City yesterday or today, um, and that he expected the deal to be done. He also went on to say that, of course, you couldn't prevent Mikel Arteta from following his dream. That's why Arteta wanted to come. Um, he felt that it was the right move from him, and, and Guardiola holds no grudge uh, for towards his former colleague uh, as a result of that. He also said that he expects Mikel Arteta to do very, very well at the Emirates Stadium. Look, he wasn't my first choice. I I've made that uh, a point on a number of podcasts, on radio shows, etc., etc. But he's here now, so let's get behind him. Let's support him. Um, he's got one hell of a job on his hands because this team uh, needs a complete overhaul. We need a complete turnaround. There will be players leaving, I imagine. There will be new players to come in uh, as soon as we're able to do that. Perhaps not um, anything significant in January, but I expect uh, an overhaul in the summer at least. You know, we're hearing that Granit Xhaka um, may be on his way out. We're hearing uh, that about various others as well. So we'll have to wait and see how all of that unfolds. Um, like I said, wasn't my first choice, but I think, you know, the more I think about it, it's a move that makes sense. You know, Mikel Arteta, yes, he doesn't have any managerial experience, which certainly works against him. But, you know, he's worked under arguably the best manager in world football for the last few years. Um, he's somebody that knows Arsenal Football Club. He's somebody that will instantly get the support of most fans. I think if you're sitting there saying, you know, he wasn't your first choice, I think that's a reasonable thing to say. Um, and I'm cool with people saying that. It's the ones that are angry and aggressive about it. Because for me, you know, you're just kind of getting on his back before he started. Now, people have said to me in the past that I got on Unai Emery's back too quickly. But the reality is it took a good six, seven months before I started saying, actually, I'm not sure about Unai Emery. And what began as a I'm not sure, um, you know, we'll have to wait and see. I haven't seen any significant improvement yet. Then turned into me wanting Unai Emery out. It was a pro, uh, progressive thing. It wasn't an overnight decision that I didn't want Unai Emery anymore. So I'm going to give Mikel Arteta the benefit of the doubt, as we should as fans. I'm going to get behind him. I'm going to support my team um, like we all should be doing at this moment in time. This season is going to be really difficult to recover from the mess that's gone on uh, already. And, and Arteta isn't going to come in overnight and completely change things. But I expect over a period of time to see a philosophy being embedded, um, to see a, a new approach. Uh, fingers crossed we get some more details on what Mikel Arteta is planning to do in the coming hours and the coming days. There is a press conference scheduled at the Emirates Stadium for 5pm. It will be on Sky Sports News for those of you that want to watch it. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's the breaking news. Mikel Arteta is back at Arsenal. So welcome back, uh, Mikel Arteta. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, all the usual stuff. We put out a full-length podcast earlier on, which you can check out. Um, and we'll be back with another full-length one uh, in the coming days. Just thought I'd get something out there in reaction to the news. Hope you've enjoyed it. Cheers. Bye.